Hello sports fans, this is Meta Man. Today we're taking a look at the Minnesota Vikings coming to town to play the Chicago Bears. The weather is going to be about 30 degrees with 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, average of northwest 15 mile per hour winds. Our injury report, you have John Jenkins is going to be out for the Bears. Um, Sherrick McManus out, which is a safety. And their running back, David Montgomery, Montgomery is going to be out. Concussion. Now, they do not have another running back that has even over 100 yards. And they don't run the ball well as it is. That's the Chicago Bears. They're averaging 3.9 yards a carry. On the Minnesota side, you have... Tight end Irv Smith Jr. is going to be out. Cornerback Cameron Dantzler is going to be out. Drew Samaya is going to be out. Illness. And Jordan Brelford is going to be out. Now, as of right now, the Minnesota Vikings are a three and a half point favorite. When I got in on the Minnesota, they were a three point favorite. And I did pick the Minnesota Vikings, and there's a few reasons why. If you take out one game from the Minnesota Vikings, let's take out the Indianapolis game. Other than that, they're averaging 411 yards a game offense. They're like three turnovers under 500 and Chicago Bears is like three turnovers over 500 as in um, to the good side. Now the Bears, some things to go along with the Bears, they have not reached 100 yards on the ground since September 27th. There's only been I believe one to two games that the Minnesota Vikings haven't even reached 100 yards. So this game is a, a game of contrast. Minnesota does pretty good at stopping you from getting in the red or getting into the end zone from the red zone. Chicago is number one in that. They're they're the best at stopping. Number two is Minnesota's number two in all of the NFL in scoring from being inside the red zone. Chicago is second or third from last in that. So they kind of even up in that aspect. But if you look at it as in weather, you, if anybody watched the game today with the Cleveland Browns, you've seen how big a deal the weather was. Now the weather's not going to be like that tomorrow in Chicago, but let's say it's a fair weather game. The defense definitely goes on the side of the Chicago Bears. And I see people saying, making a point that, hey, this Chicago Bear defense slowed down Derrick Henry. Well, Derrick Henry is a very good running back, but he's averaging right now 4.7 yards a carry. He was averaging 4.6 before this. Now, Delvin Cook is in a different league right now. Derrick Henry did really well last year, and he's doing well this year, but he's not Delvin Cook this year. Delvin Cook is six yards a carry. That's six yards a carry. And I've watched a lot of highlight films of both. I watch the highlights. I watch the games. Uh, Delvin Cook is just really fast coming out of that backfield right now, hitting that, that second level. Delvin Cook is going to do better than what... Um, what Derrick Henry did against Chicago Bears. So right there, out of the running backs, Chicago does not have a running back that has over 100 yards on the whole year. They don't stick to the run. They have, I believe, 200 attempts. They have 200 attempts at running, and they've thrown the ball 371 times. And they run at 3.7 yards a carry. They give up 4.1. That's lower than average on... Um, yards per carry for their offense and a little bit better than average 
on the defense too at 4.1. But Delvin Cook is going to pass that. And if he doesn't, then Cousins is going to have a lot better better game than the Chicago Bears uh, quarterbacks. Their quarterbacks are combined at 84.6. Now, their Chicago Bears um, pass defense is good and only gives up 84. But they're going to have to choose what they're going to want to do. If they just play straight up against Delvin Cook, he's going to run all over them. If they want to bunch up the box, well, then you're playing into letting Cousins have a big game who's just a little under 100 a passer rating right now. So how it's going to be pick your poison, whether Chicago wants to let Dalvin Cook run for 150 or do they want to let um, Cousins smash him with the, the good passes down the field. He's the league leading 8.9 yards a pass attempt right now. If it's bad weather, it's he's not gonna he's probably not gonna hit that mark. But if it's good weather and they kind of push up on the box, he's gonna be hitting that eight point nine. He might even get over ten if they have to push in that box with eight in the box. So my pick is the Minnesota Vikings. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is Meta underscore man two thousand two. Please subscribe if you like how I break down the teams and leave any comments of any way that you'd like to see it a little differently. But I like watching the games. I like taking apart the stats and figuring out what stats that are important to me. You guys have a great day, and hopefully you had good luck this weekend on your picks. By the way, I'm 2-2 two and two so far. I had Tennessee. They lost. I had Cleveland Browns I at 3.5, 3 3.5, and I lost that because they won by 3. But I did have the L.A. Rams to beat Seattle, so I won that one. And I had the Las Vegas Raiders to win that one also. So I'm 2-2 two and two going into Monday night, and I'm feeling pretty good about this. I would really like it to be maybe a two-point spread or a three-point spread. Actually, I'm at a three-point spread when I got in. But um, I feel good about it, and we'll see you next time.